it's always exciting going into a new season. You just realize, like, oh my god. The most nervous you'll ever feel, it's like in that moment, it's so pure. My name's Laura Malavy and I'm a designer. My name's Kate Malavy and I'm a designer. Laura and I, when we were really young, knew that we wanted to be designers. I literally would sketch costumes and these kind of crazy drawings. And Laura, so she would draw maps of the kitchen and she would be like, here's where the sugar is and the flour goes. And my mom was just thinking like, oh, I have like these two kind of weird children, I think. And I remember saying to Kate, Look, Let's just save our money and figure out how to start our own business. I had just this insane record collection. It was like, you know, all the first pressings, Velvet Underground, like things that were worth a lot of money. But we sold the record collection, and that was the first beginning of being able to buy fabric that we liked. I know that we're kind of the type of people that are really obsessive and like to work a lot, and we'll work really long on just developing an idea. This season, definitely, there's a lot more craftsmanship. The work and time involved in every piece, they just take it to another level. A lot of the pieces are hand-knit, hand-dyed, and just to get it dyed right, they can spend like weeks and weeks just to get the right color. The inspiration for the collection kind of came at us from multiple ideas, and one of them to begin with was the idea of um, the color red and, and the idea of blood-soaked cloth. A real, true, pure color red. The key for it is, is Laura and I were always obsessed with horror as a genre. When people say, like, well, what were you doing to kind of start getting ready for making clothes? And I think to myself, we were reading books about fashion and we were literally watching every horror movie we could find. That's why I'm sure my parents thought we were gonna be big losers, probably. <laughs> you know, there was a real visual thread between a lot of the um, Asian films we were interested in. This very large eyes, the hair-covered faces, usually the spirits are girls, young girls. The idea of the combination of the schoolgirl and this young girl usually in a little white frock. This story ended up being very much about these sunken girls, girls that were kind of overgrown, and the idea of hair and an organic matter. So we ended up using a lot of mohair, and it made me think of things like slash clothing and things that look like they could be debris. <laughs> The shoes came from wanting something to unify the collection. Something that seemed a little bit masochistic and something that seemed very hard, very tall, and very graphic. We knew that it kind of all went together in this story about being, you know, bound by something. our first time doing a runway show. It was so nerve-wracking because you're dressing so many people and you stand there kind of before the girls go out. Everyone's just like looking at little details and seeing if you're overlooking something. Finally you see the visualization of all the things that you've had to think of that go into doing it. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Like really like feminine but rock and roll. Just a really nice energy about them. They're such creative, intelligent women and they really speak for girls who are like-minded that way. I think they're incredibly creative and they're Renaissance women in this country, you know. Once you finish it, I always feel like, okay, now we have to, to let go of this collection as soon as it's done. Because I've got to somehow 
do the next one and the next one has to be better.